How you doing? My name is Deontay R. Adams. Uh, thank you for coming to my website. And this is the grand finale, man. Inspired by J. Cole, Notes Itself. Um, on his album, 2014, Forest Hill Drive. Um, I've been through a lot, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people didn't, didn't, couldn't understand, like, why did you post your life on Facebook? Why are you telling people all your business plans? And uh, people, they got rumors out there that I went crazy. I'm in a psych, psych ward. I got head trauma. Um, all type of crazy stories out there that people trying to kill me. They got prices on my head. Um, and this is just a note to self, man. What I learned from the experience. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all why I did everything because you can't understand it. Um, unless you live in it and you going through it, but I don't have no head trauma. Um, you can see I got a fresh haircut. Uh, thanks to Mr. One of my clients, Mr. Javon Crockett in Atlanta. Uh, thank you. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for giving the young man an opportunity, even when the world went against him. Um, I don't have head trauma. I've never had head trauma. I've never been crazy, uh, in my life. Um, Look, man, I read books. That's what I do. I read books, man. Um, that's all I am. I'm a student of the game, man. I'm a student like of the game. Um, I study life, and like I say, um, I had a bad day, but I wasn't mad. The whole time I was posting the stuff on Facebook, I was laughing um, because I'm seeing other people get mad and get angry. Um, and, and, and it really, I, it wouldn't hurt me at all because when I was in Navy training, you know what I'm saying, I laid down my burden, I gave my life to God, and uh, I promised God when I come back home from the Navy, if I make it through that experience, that I was going to help kids and all my Navy brothers, y'all know I'm telling the truth. I used to always talk about home and going home and what I'm going to do when I get back home, um, and I'm glad to be blessed. God elevated me to the point I could do that. Um, for the people that wanted to donate to the camp, I knew people weren't going to donate to the camp anyway. The first time I did, I spent 6000 of my own money. This year, I wanted to put 50000 of my own money in it. So I wasn't trying to get y'all to donate. I just wanted to see who cared enough to donate and who would think I was crazy. But the camp's still going to happen. You can't stop God progress. Um, parents, uh, look, this is how the camp is set up. It's the basketball is August 3rd through the 9th. Chile and his 10th through the 16th. Uh, Reverend Murray, I got that two thousand dollars. I'm gonna come pay you your two thousand dollars. Um, but the way we have it, we got ages three to eighteen. So we're gonna have them broken broken up into groups: three to six, seven to ten, eleven to thirteen, fourteen to sixteen, seventeen to eighteen. So while one group is doing basketball training, another group will be watching a movie. Then another group will be doing a, something we call decoded. Then another group will be doing acting. And then we rotate throughout the day. I got a career today, word of the day. Uh, we got guest speakers. We had the kids from 10 o'clock in the morning to 8.30 at night. Um, so if you know any churches, because right now I can only have 300 kids, Bar Street on the whole 300 kids. But if you know any churches that got buses that can help get the kids there, please let me know. Because uh, I had to take a, a week off last week and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't work for a week. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, of certain circumstances that what you'll find out at a later date stay tuned stay tuned to my website, but uh, This is called note to self and, uh, this some um, something I wrote uh, In my little hiatus uh, Where God put me through some some I wrote and I'm gonna read it for you uh, Note note to self never post life on Facebook even though it was a genius plan uh, I learned who was for me and who was against me. South Carolina is not for me right now. now. At the time, I said that, but listen, I ain't going nowhere, man. Nobody running me away from home. Um, thank, I'm thankful for, to Ernest Yarbrough, my biological father. We had a wonderful talk uh, right before I'm doing it. Right before I started doing this film, I, I had filmed it three times, and uh, but this the only one gonna ever hit the website. Thank you, Mr. Yarbrough. Thank you, Dad. Um, I'm glad I'm a grown man and I ain't no bitter kid no more and I actually listen to you. I learned so much. We so much alike. And uh, I know the world really going to get scared now because you got a blog and I got a website. So, man, they got to they got really worry about something. Um, next month, I officially be changing my name, my legal name, to Deontay Roman Bruven Yarbrough. 
That's my gift to you. Thank you, man. Um, to all the women I ever hurt, I'm truly sorry. Keone, you was my best friend. Uh, I hurt you back in the day. I'm sorry, but uh, I knew you just wanted a woman for me, and I'm glad that most people don't know. Jamar called me. After they fell in love, Jamar called me. I was at USC. I was in college. That's my best friend. Been my best friend for 10 years. He called me. He was like, bruh. He told me I had already knew y'all loved each other, and he, he asked me straight up, um, how, if I said no, he wouldn't, he wouldn't even go with you. And I told him, man, I had no problem. They're like my two best friends getting together, man. But Jamar, I thank you for being a real dude, at least calling me, bruh. Cause you could have went behind my back and been conniving. And I could have been selfish and, and been like, nah, y'all don't want you to be with her. That's my ex. But, bruh, y'all meant for each other, man. I told you you was going to marry and you married. Y'all married. Y'all got a beautiful son on the way. I can't wait to see my nephew. Uh, Noel, I'm sorry for what I did to you, Noel. Um... I was just trying to get you back for what you did to me when I was in the sixth grade. But tell your aunt, I love her, man. Thank you so much. She really helped my life. Uh, Katara, I really am sorry to you. I wasn't trying to make you look that bad on Facebook. I just wanted to tell the truth, man. Because you used to always go on Facebook and be talking about, oh, I've been with Brian for all these years. And you make your life seem perfect on Facebook. But I was like, come on, yo. Like, tell the truth. Um, and at the end of the day, I tried to be nice to your mama and get a DNA test without you even knowing, but your mama wanted to be mean, so I was like, okay, y'all want to be mean, I'm going to tell the truth. Uh, and then you ain't got no choice, because now you look bad. But the only thing I did was tell my life story, man. You know everything I said was true. Um, I told you straight up, I always love you, always will love you. I told you back in the day when you was trying to go with me when I was in USC that I, uh, we weren't meant to be. We ain't got nothing in common. But you and CJ, man, y'all perfect for each other, yo. I'm proud of y'all. CJ, I ain't trying to diss your girl, bruh. I, like, straight up. I told you that when we talked on the phone man to man. Right? When we when we had the little jump when I came home, you called me. We talked man to man, right? You ain't had no problems out of me since. We ain't had no problem, right? I told you that on Facebook. I said, I ain't got, this ain't got nothing to do with you. I say, I just, this was for my grandma, dog. Because my grandma was looking at me like, you not taking care of your responsibilities as a man. And I got to definitely take care of my responsibilities. Uh, Erica, I'm, I'm sorry. I am. Um, I did you wrong. I stopped talking to you. Started talking to Katara. I was wrong for it. But my karma came back. Um, Tiffany, I ain't going to say which one. You just know you the, you the one. Uh, back in the day, man, you could have been the best girlfriend in the world. Um, I just wasn't ready. I wasn't ready, but I'm glad you found your happiness, man. You got a good dude. I hope he hurry up and re recognize that and y'all get married. Y'all need to stop playing around. Uh, Jada, I'm truly sorry. Oh, my God. I broke your heart. Uh, I seen you go to from an innocent girl to good girl going bad, man. But I pray you uh, let some of that anger go and get back to that good girl that I met when we was 17. Um, that girl I fell in love with when we was in college, man. And... I'm truly sorry for hanging up on you and cussing at you. I am. I truly am. Uh, Tierra, thank you for this wonderful website, man. You the best, man. You the best. But still, still apologize again for what I did to you when we was in college. You was the best, best, man. Um, like I say, I just wasn't ready. It just wasn't meant to be. Thank you for really helping me when I came to Miami. Um, I ain't have it. And uh, now that God is blessing um, I told y'all I'd come back home, um, but I still I still want to work together. And please follow your dreams. You the best, man. You really are the best. Um, my Asia, it was nothing personal. Uh, nothing personal at all. Your mom, you, and Mr. Charles was trying to play me, and I used y'all to my advantage. Um, but y'all know what y'all did. Y'all lied. Y'all lied. And that's, that's something y'all got to talk to God about. But they ain't got nothing to do with me. But don't get mad at me because I won in the end. Like, I, I won in the end and I proved that y'all are liars. And y'all couldn't use me and take advantage of me the way y'all was trying to use me and take advantage of me. That's the truth. Um, An 18-year-old girl by the name of Taylor. Hey, Taylor. I call her, uh, I call her Taylor Swift. They call her Tay-Tay. Uh, Show me what happens when you break a woman's heart. When God was putting put me through what I went through, uh, I met a girl named Taylor. 
her boyfriend broke up with her and uh, she cried so much she ran a truck out the side of the road and almost killed herself. Um, I, I used to always break hearts and I never saw the effects of it. But uh, I actually got had to see her cry every day and I made her laugh every day. And I told her it was going to get better. It's going to get better. You're going to find your Prince Charming one day. Uh, just keep faith, man. Just keep faith. You 18, but please go to college. Please. Please uh, go. You too smart not to. I almost made that mistake and didn't go, but it's one of the best things I ever did. Uh, I learned Martin Luther King would have been considered delusional in today's society. Uh, if Martin Luther King was guy, it's going to be a young black man can sit at a table with three white women and laugh and talk and do a puzzle and get to know each other and share life experiences. They, they would have told him he was delusional in 1963. But that happened. I met three women that helped change my life. Two Taylors. Taylor Drizzy. Drizzy. I love you, Drizzy. Hey, hit me up, man. Um, Taylor, what I call Taylor Swift and Jamie Foxx. Jamie, I love you, man. Um, I'm going to show y'all something. And bear with me, man. I just got to do this. Uh, Jamie. I still got your picture. I'm glad you left it. That's my gift from you. Uh, Drizzy, I, I still got it, man. I got my gift. I'm glad you blessed me with this. Um, and for the next one, I met people that can see angels. Man, man, check them out. Uh, let me get the paperwork. Mm -hmm. Well, I made it, yeah, Chris Storm. Oh, there we go. There you go, Chris. Chris, I had to do this for you. Chris Storm, man, check out his website. Uh, that Chris Storm, Christopher Storm, man. His website is manofstorm at G. I don't know, stormcalling.com. Check out his website. He's a very educated man. Uh, I'm glad you came down from Florida, uh, all the way from Jacksonville, to uh, talk to me, man. And it's cool that you can see angels. That's pretty cool. Um, I believe in God, so I believe you can see angels. Real talk. But to everybody, I don't have no head trauma. I'm not crazy. I don't have head trauma, I promise you. Um, yes, I got in an accident helping my best friend move. And the wind pushed me out the back of the truck. It skinned up my hands and skinned up all down my right side. Um, but I proved that uh, I got the proof right here that I never I never had head trauma um, ever and it's right here I got the proof of the evaluation from the hospital uh, it's a uh, BLA UDS were negative CT scan of his head was negative uh, and then with substance, I didn't have none. I had no no alcohol, no tobacco, no caffeine, none in my system. Anybody know me know I don't take medicine, and I don't drink sodas. I don't drink coffee, um, and I try not to eat meat. But uh, I was a vegan for a while. But uh, I ain't never had no head trauma. I ain't never had no head injury. Um, but I just had to go through evaluation because my mom wanted me to be evaluated. But I'm glad that. The system prevailed and proved my innocence and proved that there's nothing wrong with me. Um, and I got legal proof of it. You'll learn about that um, later on in life when, I, when we do the movies. We'll just watch the movies. Um, but it's nothing wrong with me at all. Uh, I got my camps coming up. To officers Hammond, Taylor, Cato, and others, thank you for showing a 22-year-old African-American male that officers are not bad and that if you cooperate good things will happen. To my wonderful security guards Kevin, Granddad Turner, Sinclair, Williams, Cook, Rollins, Kay, Thompson, Thunderberg and more thank you for seeing the truth in me. Always oh also thank you for listening to my problems and me talk about Taylor all night. I just needed to vent. I really did man. Like, Y'all held me captive, man. I was I couldn't work out or nothing. I know I had to get evaluated, but dang, man, y'all could at least let a brother go outside and run. But thank y'all, man. Thank y'all for listening to me. 
um, when I couldn't walk past the door. But y'all know nothing is wrong with me. I'm glad that.